Hey everybody, I believe it was the Poltergeist movie where there was the tagline, they're back. And in this instance, with City of Oakland Sports Stadium Development, the they are Rick Tripp and now Floyd Kephart. Yeah, that's right, the same Floyd Kephart that was the Oakland Raiders Stadium developer who at the end of the day was pushed out by the mayor of Oakland, Libby Schaff, because as one City of Oakland official told me, he didn't have the money he said he had at the time. That was 2015. Also, some of you may remember that then NFL head of business ventures, Eric Grubman, didn't get along with uh, Floyd Gephardt and described him as a bad penny that just wouldn't go away. Well, Eric looks like he's right. But the question is, why would two white developers suddenly show up at the time that Ray Bobbitt and his black developer group are negotiating to purchase at least a piece of Coliseum property with the objective of building a stadium that's NFL ready to bring the NFL back to Oakland. According to my sources, a number of roads point to Oakland District 7 Council Member Larry Reed. And if you would say, hey, wait a minute, isn't Larry uh, going to retire and give way to his great daughter, the great Trevor Reed? And the answer is, I think so. But as I understand it, depending on who you talk to, Larry had something to do with the re-entry of both Kephart and Tripp into the picture. A City of Oakland official told me today that, yes, Kephart and Tripp had both submitted development proposals. But when I asked what those proposals consisted of, or if there was a, a template, you know, some set of requirements, the answer was no, there was not a set of requirements. They were subject to negotiation. So I then answered back, well, does that mean that I can, myself can submit simply a letter of interest and consider that as my development proposal? I haven't received a response back. But all of this points to something I have railed about with the city of Oakland for years. There's no formal process for a developer who would want to build a sports facility to follow. Who do you go to? Where is that person? The mayor's office? Economic development? It should be with the mayor directly. Why? Because ultimately everybody wants to know where the mayor stands. I've been that road as far back as 1999 when I was forming the bid to bring the Super Bowl to Oakland that would have been played in 2005 at the Coliseum had we not lost to Jacksonville, which won the right to do so. We need a formal process, if only to scare away anybody who would dare invite the notion that some of this is done in a political way that borders on some impropriety. You don't want that. You need a formal process, and we don't have one right now. The mayor of Oakland was not responsible for bringing in Kephart. He was also, she was, excuse me, Libby Schaff was not also not responsible for bringing in Rip Tripp. So we can't blame the mayor, but the mayor needs to put her foot down in an action way, uh, aside from just really putting her foot down, and establish a process, a group, and a person, a point person, for everybody to go to. The city of Oakland also said, and not the mayor, that the group should at least consider bringing on a gentleman by the name of Eric Murray, an African-American investor who's Oakland-based. I know very little about him. I'm learning more, and I'll introduce more in subsequent vlogs on this. Subscribe, but here's the other question. Why? was Bobbitt's group told to add Murray, or at least suggested, excuse me, as opposed to Rick Tripp's group, if he has one, or Floyd Kephart, for that matter? Or why wasn't Murray invited to, you know, make his own group, if, if you're going to have Tripp and Kephart involved? More questions than answers. The main problem here is that, once again, Oakland is starting to take on the look that it's not serious about retaining its sports teams, sports organizations and leagues. 
this is starting to look like some of the same events that caused Mark Davis to get really frustrated and try to rush off first to San Antonio and then eventually to Las Vegas. Subscribe to Zinni62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.